Seventh grade violinists, we are working from 195 through 200 on shifting. And when you're playing on your E string, it's very important that your bow is moving at a faster rate than it would on lower strings. Um, this is because it's a very thin string. So it must move faster to get better tone. Now on 195, we start in third position, first finger on the note A, we go to second finger B. Now in the actual song, there's two sharps, C sharp and F sharp. Well, here we are in B, the next note is a C sharp. It has two ledger lines. So we have to do a whole step. There's a note in between. And then the D is right next to it, a half step. Let's go ahead and play number 195. And again, don't be shy, play out. One, two, ready and play. Whole step. Whole step. Half step, one, two, three, four. Good. So hopefully you found your place there. Now we're gonna move on to 196. And we're gonna do the same finger pattern for the A string starting on the D as we did just now on the E string starting with the A. Your last note of the song is a high D and that's four fingers in third position. Here we go. One, two, 196. Start on the A string, third position, one on the D. Go. D, D, E, F sharp, G half step, A, B, C sharp, All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and go to 197. All right, and we're just gonna add rhythms in. Notice we're starting at the top of the scale, going down and then turning around and going up, just adding some different rhythms. Here we go. Set your first finger on the note A, B, C sharp, and D. One, two, and three, and go. trick. Here's one trick that I teach my students. You guys, you are my students. When I go from, let's say we're going up the scale and we hit the fourth finger here, I don't lift it up to go to the next string, the A. I actually keep it down momentarily because then my hand stays where it should. Then I go up, right? Now calm me back down. I do the same thing only backwards. I keep my first finger down, set my fourth finger, and then pick it up. So um, I just want to keep you in the know that when you're, when you're crossing strings, it helps to keep the last finger down to help guide the next finger. Let's do this one one more time, 197. One and two and three, here we go now.
Looking at 198 through 200, you're going to notice there's a dash with a finger number. And you're also going to see a Roman numeral show up. The dash comes before the note because it means you have to shift one way or the other to get there. And the Roman numeral tells you what position you are shifting to. And of course, on these three, 198 through 200, we're shifting to third position, the most commonly used position on the violin. Let's begin with 198. We'll take our time. Remember when you shift, release your thumb so that you can slide without any, any um, crunching or squeezing. One, two, ready, go. A, A, B, shift, two, one, Let's move on. If you want to do that one again, go back a little bit or pause it. 199. One, two, careful, here we go. Open, one, open, shift. Stay there. One, open, D. So those two pieces we shifted from first finger up to first finger. But on two to one, it's exactly how it's titled. We're gonna shift from second finger to first finger. It almost feels like you're replacing your second finger. You move up and you replace it, kind of, but just a little higher. Let's try this one. One, two, ready, play. Remember, relax your hand, release the thumb so that you can slide or shift at ease. So, see ya!